What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is your man, Soundproof, right here. Hope everybody is doing well. Oh, how about this? This is looking better. I look better than this. I look pretty good right now. Pretty late, but pretty in shape. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm just here, Montreal, Canada. And uh, just driving around. I had to do a little quick stop and talk about something at the same time. I had to do this, I've been thinking about it. I gave Julie Snyder a week, a week for her apologies on something she expressed or she set up. Yeah, that's a setup. I think it, it was a setup. She set up her scenario, which is very, very disappointing in the time that we're living right here uh, across the world, in Canada, United States, concerning our health and decisions and opinion and position and a lot of questioning and intrigue about it. So, hold on a second here. So I had to do this, yeah, I see myself better right now. Oh yeah, I look good. My teeth are white. <laughs> so yeah, so this video is gonna be talking about Julie Snyder. She's a TV host here in Montreal, Canada, all right, in Quebec, the province of Quebec. So people that didn't know that follow me in the States, United States, we have United States, we have different province just like United States got states, all right? And we in the province of Quebec, and we have a situation right here. Media is doing something incredible, as everybody knows, on informing us on situation. Now, I am involved in the community. I do, I do events, I do community activities, I'm a conference speaker, uh, I'm a youth advocate, um, uh, uh, injustice also. Um, I support anybody that wants to see right and be clarified about stuff. Um, I've been involved, so you can type my name, Luigi on the go, link in the below, all the information on me, just tap, you'll see all the di different videos. So I'm also a conference speaker. And before I talk about Julie Schneider, I gotta talk about that situation. All right, and the situation goes like this. It's just, as a conference speaker or a social activist, it's very important that I don't be biased about the information I share or what I talk about. It's very important to not be biased. So there's one of my conferences that I do, it's called how I overcame um, discrimination here in Montreal. I'm born and raised in Montreal. Uh, we're fifth generation of Haitian immigrant here in Montreal, Canada. So I decided a couple of years ago to just do conference. And I do the conference uh, during the Black History Month, uh, outside of the Black History Month, uh, for black people and for different organization and I created a new one is how I overcame discrimination now this one is very specific and very very important that I structured it so I can present it and address um, different uh, audience and what I've done with that one I presented it to majority white people in the suburb of Montreal, all right? And I remember one time I was doing this conference in the suburb of Montreal in high school. Uh, high school, 10, 11 years old, 12 years old kid. And um, I did the conference and um, I presented myself, all right? I presented myself, hey everybody, this is Luigi, how you guys doing? I'm from Montreal, we're in the suburb, I'm happy to be here with you, and so on and so on. And um, was asking them, do, what do you know about Montreal, all right? So what they told me is that, hold on a second, let me put myself here. So I had different, different answers, 
diverse answers uh, from those kids that were basically 12 years old, 11, 12 years old. Uh, and they were telling me about what they know about about uh, Montreal. So I grew up in the neighborhood called Montreal North, all right? And um, there's some situation down there with gangs. We got successful people also. Uh, we got part of the community that are developing. There's a lot of business and everything there. So when I asked those kids, all right, 11, 12 years old, what do you know about Montreal North? You know, downtown Montreal, where the Canadian hockey team is playing. You go shop around and you go there with your parents and you travel and you discover. You go to your aunt's house that lives in Montreal. You're in the suburb. You're about 20 to 30 minutes away from Montreal. Good. So one of the kids raised their hand and said, yeah, I. this is what I know about Montreal North. It's a lot of gang members all right there's a lot of violence and so on and she was expressing herself which i i agree understand and listen to so here i go my my presentation and um and i present myself and i show them that i travel i've been uh to different mm -hmm. countries and different cities and um and they were like wow they were amazed about who was in front of them and at the end, I showed them pictures of where I traveled and so on and so on and, um, and showed them uh, by the river in Montreal North where you have houses that are over a million and two million dollars worth. And they were surprised that those type of house or neighborhood could exist. So I expressed to them, I born there, born and raised and I come here to express myself, and this is where I live. I'm, I, I met the KKK, I traveled to Miami, I've been to Calgary, I DJ all around, I did basketball tournament, coach kids, been a, a hockey, um, hockey arena ambassador in Florida, and so on, and they were all surprised. surprised. And they were like, man, this guy is truly a Canadian. He plays hockey, he travels, he speaks English, French, and Creole. I'm trilingual. So they were very happy to have met me that day in the auditorium of the high school. So um, at the end of the conference, they're leaving, when, while they were leaving the, um, the, uh, the auditorium, um, four young ladies that were coming out jumped in my arms and started crying. And they were crying. I'm telling you, they were crying, and, and they were, they, they were, they had that face of frustration and anger towards something. And I was like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And the principal was next to me, and the teacher that invited me was next to me, and saw those four young girls, about 12 years old, crying in my arms. So I was like what is going on are you okay i was speaking french to them i said are you okay they, yes and they they, they, they they looked at me and crying and saying they 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 lied to me i said who who, who lied to you it's like you, you want to kill somebody who lied to you what are you talking about what's the link with me you're jumping in my arm and crying after having a wonderful one and a and a half uh, an hour and a half conference with, with, with Luigi. I mean, I'm your friend. I'm listening. What's wrong? So she goes, they lied to me. I said, who? They said, my parents. What do you mean your parents lied to you? Because, and she, 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 she's wiping off her tears and she's telling me, because when I watch TV with them and we watch the news and when we see this, this, this situation in, in, in Montreal North and gun gang violence and all that I never realized that there was also you and they pissed me off because you are a Canadian just like me but I wasn't informed of that until we had met you today and you came to talk to us in our school I said listen just calm down all right calm down and let's let, let's look at this how about what I told you to, how about you go back to them and you go on YouTube 
or you go on Google or you go on any a search engine on the internet and type in Haiti Surf Club because there's a surf club in Haiti and South and Jacques Mel Haiti there's a surf club all right you, you write you write Haiti surf Doc, or you'll see that and I told them share that to them since I shared it to you in the last two hours or hour and a half right down Montreal North by the river which is called uh, the Prairie River Riviere de Prairie and show them right down Montreal North Mall like our borough of Montreal North has a mall show that to your parents write down all the stuff and go with them but don't be pissed off because don't be frustrated because you were transferred what they know so now it's your turn since you have new information by the means of Luigi coming to your school and telling them let's this rediscover Haitians or Haiti and let's rediscover Montreal North and don't don't go back and frustrated and pissed off and cursing at them. I, that's not that's not my end game here. I just want to inform you that I am a citizen of Canada as well as you, and we've been existing from different backgrounds and nationalities and countries coming here, moving in, leaving, changing province, going to this province. We. we we are all one and she realized that and she appreciated that and she was wiping a tear and, and and trying to calm herself down all four of them trying to calm herself down the principal heard that and she's a white lady the principal heard that and looking at me exchanging with four young frustrated and confused girls at the age of 12 was crying herself Surprise, I, I still got goose, goosebumps while saying that to you. So I'm saying this long story and this long, this memorable, unforgettable moment to tell you this. This is what Julie Snyder did at a TV show last week. And I gave her a week to apologize. A lot of people type in in, the, in, in, in her network of uh, media, uh, mainstream media uh, friends not appreciating what she did here's what she did and I'm saying that in English and I'm not gonna say it in French even though here it's mostly French they want us to speak French 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 I'm trilingual since I'm born I speak English French and Creole born and raised in Montreal Quebec Canada all right so I'm saying this in English so a lot of people can listen to what I'm about to say about Julie Schneider a TV host here in Quebec now they invited she invited teachers and parents and adults they invited two to three kids that's about nine to ten years old to the most eleven and asked them what do you think about people that didn't get the jab and the kids sitting there on that TV plateau, they say, well, you know, people that are not being jabbed in order to protect the rest of us, well, that's not the right thing. We should tell them to go and get the jab, which is okay. And what she did is ask, but what if they don't want to be jabbed or get this kind of protection because it's one of many remedies to protect you against any virus or bacteria right but you didn't give them that choice what you've done is narrowed down to this because it was prepared it was staged and when you ask them well if they don't get the jab what you think we should do well I think we should call the cops on them that's what those kids respond. And after this respond, I'm gonna do another video. I'm not done with this. I'm gonna do another video. And the re reaction, her reaction, Julie Snyder, and that teacher, whoever who she was, and that man in the background, 
the man's reaction was like, oh yes, I like, oh yeah. And that lady that was a guest on Julie Snyder's show said, well, I guess I guess I dressed, they were dressed right, like dressed like a dog, you, you know? Like a, you, you dress a dog, you know? You train a dog. I guess they were trained right. And she was laughing and giggling. Julie Snyder was laughing and giggling. This guy in the background saying, yes, that's what I want to hear. Now, when you compare to those four little young girls that I did the conference to and explain it to them and present them to them who I was, I was a Canadian as much as them, and they realized that, and they were shocked to the point to cry. Well, I gave them an option. I didn't say their parents was wrong or I'm right. I'm just adding information to your history, your comprehension of society. And I came to this school because you're 11, 12, and the teacher asked me to do that so you can have a broader comprehension of what society is. It's not only one angle, one shoe fits all, all right? So what they did with those kids is exactly that. Exactly that. How can a nine to 10 year old kid be on a live TV show and you allow them to say to a general public, if somebody doesn't get the jab, that we need to call the cops. What type of information were they presented at their age to have comprehension or verbalizing that? What type of information do they know? There's many, many, many alternatives beside that jab, which a lot of media are not talking about, either in Quebec, in Canada, or US, European, uh, Africa, Asia, North America, uh, South America, everywhere. I did many interviews on this ch ch um, YouTube channel here right now. And I did many interviews in China, Africa, Tunisia, France, Colombia, Haiti, United States, Canada, all, all across. <coughs> and realized there's many alternatives. There's natural remedies. There's natural immune system also. But did those kids knew about those before going on live mainstream TV station here to say what they said and who was guiding them that man in the back laughing, laughing saying oh yes yes I like this or that lady that said I trained them right they were raised right yeah I drilled them or that lady, Julie Snyder, that's been doing TV for over 20 years now in Montreal, Canada, that has a responsibility as a public figure to don't be biased. How can you not apologize clearly and realize that you are creating people that cannot have a, critic, a critical thinking. How can you do that as an adult? At my age, I go in and meet kids. I, I met KKK, former KKK members, active KKK members, white supremacists, Muslim, Christian, basketball players, cook, chef, homeless, drug dealer, prostitute, lawyers I met and I made a judgment out of all those conversations but I'm not biased and I will never come on TV and say that those four, four girls parents that I met are racist or biased they were just not informed or in contact or in conversation with diversity people with different opinion so I'm just saying, Julie Snyder, the whole TV station backing you up, none of them, after now, 10 days, has apologized. 
they had a fancy PR department text saying that it was kind of uh, not done well. Well, you, you could create people that could become extremists. We are living something right now that I think we cannot go on left or go on right. We need to inform ourselves before taking any action or decision. <coughs> Either you want to get job or don't get job. If We need to do that. We need to inform ourselves and you cannot because of your lack of information or your your con personal conviction without information on going to any health site the cdc itself is informing us about that and i go and read it once or twice a week and i see the alternative and i see the effects i don't judge people because they got aids i don't judge people people because they're white i judge individual and I try to understand the individual in front of me. But somebody told me or informed me or I saw an example of acting that way. You see what I'm saying? I saw an example of acting that way and being in a democratic country and saying, hold on, let me see the good and the bad of what I'm looking at. Right? When I talked to the KKK in 2000 in Florida, like official Ku Klux Klan member, I listened to them and they listened to me. I didn't come with the vibe that you're crazy. They explained to me where that's all philosophy comes from. And that's a whole different video. But that video of, I saw, that video that I saw of Julie Snyder and her guests brainwashing it in a way, those young guesses aged between 9 and 11 saying that they will call the cop if somebody is not jab that's the last resort for somebody that didn't get the jab one time two time three time four i'm trying to understand that so on my next video i will break down that minute video that was done that interview with those kids and I will, it was with a sub, with an English subtitle, because I want a lot of people around the world understanding, because it, it was all around the world with a buffoon, even in Taiwan, they're talking about that, Brazil talking about that incident. So it's not just me, it's not just your, your colleagues uh, and your, your media network in Quebec, in the province of Quebec that knows you. No, there's a lot of people that doesn't accept that. Parents, kids themselves find you a little bit cuckoo. We're going too far. Let's inform ourselves on what's going on and transfer this information. And if I don't know, I call people and ask questions. I do. I don't know everything. I don't know how YouTube works. I'm learning about it every day. Am I making my video shorter, longer, expressing myself too much? I need to condense. I need to develop that aspect. I need to, 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 to attack that angle. It's all an exercise. So when you're in the media, Miss Julie Snyder, when you're a public figure, you got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. And this, and I've seen it before from a lot of people, this is not acceptable, especially right now. Quebec, the province of Quebec in Canada, is, is making us live this old Coco 19 thing, the jab thing, in a very special way that I, I cannot put my finger on why. Do I have to follow the money trail? Is it uh, ideology compared to the rest of Canada? They have more relationship with the French because they're French, because we're trying to understand what you're doing. Many other countries or province or states across the ocean in your backyard next door the next province has give up a lot of those restriction and pressure and oppression i remember at one time you couldn't go and drink in the same fountain i seen that i heard about it and after that it was because you didn't have a diploma and after you couldn't get a job because 
you couldn't get a job because you didn't you had a criminal record and now you can't get a job because you didn't get the job and now I've got to call the cops and I got to hear it from a nine-year-old kid on mainstream media TV station no Julie Snyder your two guests teachers or whatever whoever they were I'll find your name because I'm gonna do another video about it I'll find your name and I'm gonna break down this video I'm not doing this for likes or this you can see my my YouTube videos it's all about joy discovering it's Luigi on the go meeting people different artists interviewing people in a jolly way uh, meeting all the indigenous uh, uh, native people of this land talking to my to people from my Haitian heritage but I had to do this video I didn't want to go that way I didn't go, want to go that route but I worked in media many medias I work with people in medias. I still talk to people in medias. I still talk to different advocates, lawyers, people, judge. I know people. And a lot of them don't accept that at all. Some might not say nothing and just say, hey, let it be. You know how they are. But we live in something very serious right now. And we cannot be biased or brainwash innocent kids. Julie Snyder, you're a grown adult with your two guests laughing and giggling and being proud that they train those kids and you're saying it with joy and I got control of this. You have a responsibility. Hope you sleep well until the next video.